Nike hit us with a random shock drop to start off February with a bang. We had a random assortment of sneakers. You had orange lobsters. You had the Concept Air Maxes, Travis Scott Air Maxes. And among that random assortment of sneakers was a shoe that dropped in 2021, a pair of undefeated dunks. What's good y'all boys, Underdog, and I am back in the building. Today we are going to be going over the undefeated 5 on it dunks. Now since this shoe dropped back in 2021, you've probably heard about it, you've probably seen reviews if you're thinking about picking them up. So this is going to be a super quick rapid, rapid fire review. Double rapid fire. Real quick highlighting the box, as you can see you got Nike branding at the top here with a little bit of undefeated as well. This was part of their Dunk versus Air Force One pack. Size tag for y'all, do what you gotta do. But your boy's gonna read it, of course. Of course your boy's gonna read it. Size tag reads Nike Dunk Low SP, Signal Blue, White, Night Purple. Size 11, you boy size. Undefeated Nike Dunks. Ooh, bing bang wow. Nike, undefeated Dunks. Starting off with the outsole here, as you can see, it's an all purple outsole. The midsole here is an aged midsole. It's got that yellowing effect. It does look kind of nice with that purple, in my opinion. The upper of the shoe is an interesting assortment of materials. The toe box is a pretty plush pebbled leather. It does feel really soft and buttery to the touch. Around the toe box and eyelet areas here, you've got a faux snakeskin material. This inner panel here is like a soft, cushiony canvas. That's the best way I can describe it. It is definitely canvas, but it feels really plush. Kind of a weird way to describe it, but if you have it in hand, you'll know what I mean. Very hairy suede for this Nike swoosh, which is in a gray colorway. Towards the back heel area here in this blue, you have what feels like a softer suede or nubuck, if you will. Undefeated branding here by the heel as well. Traditional Nike branding in the back. For the tongue, you've got a leather tongue, same material that's found on the toe box. You do get undefeated branding at the tongue tab here instead of Nike branding. Of course, you got your flat style dunk laces. The sneakers come with blue, but you do get a additional laces which I do think would look better on the shoe. That aged vintage looking set of laces I think would set the shoe off. Jumping into my thoughts on this shoe. Now since it's been a minute since this shoe has been released I was kind of surprised to see it on that restock. It just felt so random. I feel like nobody really asked for it but hey we got it. Luckily your boy was able to hit and I am surprised by the materials. Now it's been a minute since I've even thought about this shoe. Now I remember when they dropped and everything, but it just wasn't a shoe that was really on my radar. I'm not the biggest Dunk Low fan, so this is one shoe that I could definitely live without. Not the craziest fan of the colorway, it just seems kind of like a little too wild for me. Like I'm not that confident in myself to be able to pull this off. Like I'm not that stylish, you know, but hey, if you can pull this off, salutes to you. If you were like me and you hit on the shock drop and you wanted to flip these, you can get maybe 20, 40 bucks profit. If you throw them on the apps, you'll probably make a little less. So of course, sell locally if you can. So that kind of answers the question, cop, flip, or completely skip. For me, these are a flip. Decent looking shoe. I'd rate it honestly like a 7.5 out of 10. I do like it. I, love, I like the blue. I like the aged midsole here. I like the purple too, just together it's, it's just a little too out there for me personally, but I do like it. I can see these being pulled off and me really digging it. But like I said, these are a flip for me. Hey you, you watching this video right now. Thank you for tuning in and giving your boy a chance. And thanks for stopping by to the channel. I appreciate you watching this video. If you like what you've seen, maybe hit that subscribe button down below. Smash the like button too, it's all free and greatly appreciated. I know January has been really slow. I haven't really been on my grind. I'll be honest, gotta keep myself accountable. Well, February is here, it's in full effect. I got like eight shoes coming in the mail. It's been crazy to start off the month. Super excited to bring more content. So of course, more content is on the way. 2023 is looking like a crazy year already. So again, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already so you don't miss a beat. But until the next video, peace.